don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. So on Friday the 20th of December, the Ghana Premier League was officially launched by the Sports Minister, Mr. Isaac Isiyama. EFA President Keto Kreku also outlined some new reforms that will be taking place in the new upcoming Ghana Premier League season. He said that the Premier League top six coaches at the end of the season will be taken to Europe for attachment. He also said 10 best center referees and assistant referees will be taken to Europe for the attachment to further improve their skills and their knowledge. We all know how the referees were implicated in the Anas expose that led to the breakdown of Ghana football. He is looking to not repeat such things again. Now, Division 1 winning coach of each of the zones will be taken to European club for attachment. Now, for the Women's League, the top three coaches will be taken to a European club for attachment and the top six teams will get monetary rewards for the first time ever at all domestic competitions. Now, betting companies are barred from using the Premier League fixtures for the for Ghana Premier League fishes that is without the authorization of the Ghana Football Association. These are some of the few things that were promised over the weekend on Friday and the Ghana FA president is looking to implement these new measures to prevent the repeat of things that happened during the Nyantiji era that led to the normalization committee having to be formed after the Anas expose showed the rotten corruption in Ghana football. We can't wait for the start of the season. It kicks off on the 27th of December and we'll have a look at the launch of the Ghana Premier League, official launch of the Ghana Premier League. We'll listen to the Ghana FA President Keto Kriku's speech. We'll listen to the Sports Minister and the official launchings. Well, as usual, I've been your host, Salas. If you're new to the channel, I advise you to subscribe to the channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's go have a listen to the speech of the Ghana FA president. Top three coaches of the top three teams belonging to the two sectors will also be sent to Europe on attachments. I am sure that our division one class are wondering, hey, what's going to happen? Okay, division one, we are also included in the package. For the first time, the top three coaches from each of the three zones will also be sent on attachment to you. This is what we mean by creating wealth for all. By these policies, Your Excellency, we will, as part of our strategy, succeed in igniting passion and creating wealth. Also, we would have succeeded in bringing the love back to the millions of Ghanaians who love our sports. Your Excellency, government's role, I'm coming to you now, in reaching our objectives is, as an association can never be underestimated. And I've said this on numerous and on varied platforms. I have said that it's so important for football and government to have a sexy relationship. People don't seem to understand this, but government must always be seen as a key strategic partner in the development of our sports. This is key. Your Excellency, your presence here today affirms the belief I've always held. I'm so grateful. Whilst we love the government for various roles and support we have so far received, it's also true that our clubs need a lot of financial support. The football economy is so small, liquidity is always a big problem we have in this country. Unfortunately, Your Excellency, when we go around and we look for our mega money, we state games, we promote these games, at the end of each game, there's a VAT component, 17%. Your Excellency, we need a promise. 
that today, with your support and strategic strategy, government will wave off this 17 percent off VAT for our jobs. Your Excellency, on behalf of my hard-working executive council, I'm so proud of them. On behalf of all our clubs, on behalf of our media partners, and most importantly, on behalf of our female clubs, we should express our heartfelt, our heartfelt gratitude for the time you have taken off your business schedule to be with us today. It only means that you love footy, you love football. And for us who are into the business of football, we shall forever remember this day. But this is the very, very first time the Vice President of our country has been to the official launch of the football calendar. Yeah, that was the <laughs> To bring back the love, to ignite passion, we will take not only the effort of Ura Ketugrabu, it will also not take only the effort of the Executive Council. Neither will it take the effort of the Sector Minister. If we will be successful, it will take the express and active participation and support of everybody here, Garden and beyond. This is the call I'm throwing out to everybody. It's not so good at this time for you to sit back and look for faults. Faults you continue to find. Because we are human. But so long as we believe that if we stick together, if we believe in the way, if we follow our principles, if we stay as a unit, we will definitely hit the target of envy. We shall cross River Jordan one day. And this River Jordan, we shall cross. Your Excellency, in departing, once again, I want to thank you so much that together with the big efforts from government, from the past normalization committee, from FIFA and CAF, today football is being given a new life. I'm very, very positive that in going forward, our sport will never be the same. With the Munya Asi. FA President Kent Adoku, a man full of creativity, innovation, and enterprise. Let's clap for him. That's the president of today. Full of creativity, innovation, and enterprise. I'm proud of him as the president of FA. It is clear, it's obvious that the love for our game is indeed coming back. Obvious. So we all need to support Mr. President and his capable ex members. Very fine praise that we have for football today. I can assure you of the full support of the Ministry of Defense Force. Of our full support. So let us all work together. My job here is simple. So my job here is to do the student lunch of the new football season. So Mr. President, I have the honor, the privilege, to declare 2019, 2020 football season duly launched. Thank you, Mr. President. And then we have the trophy for the division one league and the
Tennis is the Premier League trophy. Take your seats.